everyone, Oki Sutami here, your local community translator. Today, we have three more rumored arts to look at. Over the last few days, we have seen three new rumored art sheets. As always, I have translated and shared these on my Twitter upon release. And today, we will be looking at them in a bit more detail. It seems like we are well and truly in the season for rumored leaks, so I'm sure there will be a lot more in the future. So if you haven't already, please follow my Twitter and subscribe here and you won't miss a thing. I put a lot of effort into these videos and my translations. I'm hoping to get this channel partnered with YouTube within the year. It seems like a daunting and near impossible task. 4000 watch towers is terrifying. But I'll continue to try my best to bring you the best content that you'll be happy to watch. Additionally, I have recently started an Instagram page where I'll be uploading my Pokemon translations in an organized fashion. With that being said, let's get into it. So, the first rumored link we will be looking today is this snake. This was sent to me by a follower on Twitter. Unfortunately, they didn't know much about the origins. To me, the overall design just doesn't seem legit. It just feels like it's missing some important details. But I'm not an artist or a designer, so what do I know? But as far as the Japanese goes, there are a lot of issues in only this small bit of text. Here, this Pokemon is listed as Dragon type. We can see it's written using the kanji Ryu, meaning dragon. But in Pokemon, it's always written in katakana like this, which reads as dragon or dragon. The use of the kanji is not consistent for Pokemon. Additionally, in Pokemon, the type comes before the actual word type. The correct Japanese, as is the norm for Pokemon, would be dragon type. The next issue is the bottom text. Muri means impossible. Shinka is evolved. Mui should go after the action that is impossible, not before. Additionally, I think most people would say Shinka Nashi, which means no evolution, or Shinka Dekimasen, can't evolve, instead. Lastly, there is no major issue with the text here that reads Sharp Fang. With all that being said, I strongly believe this should be considered well and truly 1000% debunked. Next, Let's look at the rumored regional drowsy that has been floating around the internet. Once again, I was originally sent this on Twitter. The sender said that they saw it on Reddit, but before they could take a screenshot of the page, it was deleted. So make of that what you will. Personally, while I think this looks well drawn, drowsy is one of the Pokemon I like the least. So it was fun needing to stare at this while translating the text. Over here, we have the typing, Psychic and Poison type. Unlike the Snake Leak, this is all correct. Underneath, we have Evolution Hypno. There is nothing wrong with this Japanese here. It just feels odd that it would be specified. Here we have Pendulum, which is okay. And here we have Snot, which is also okay. And if you want to know how to say it, it's read as Hanamizu, which literally means nose water. The text here, written directly under the main illustration, is where the big issues begin. The way it's written, the two lines could be together, but most would consider them separately. So basically, it could be considered one sentence or two sentences. Also, the verb is used incorrectly here. The way it is implies that the Pokemon gets sick, but I'm assuming that the artist intended for the Pokemon to make others ill. Considering all of this, it should be written like this. Which translates to, it hypnotizes humans to make them sick. The way that this is written makes it clear that it's all one sentence. The Tamani is acting to join the action of making people sick and hypnotizing. Additionally, the verb, kansen saseru, is used to express the passing of infection instead of kansen suru. To get the infection. The last text here, on the middle bottom, also has the issue of the verb being used incorrectly. Hakusareta is to hide. This implies that the person or thing is intentionally hiding something. For example, he is hiding the toys, when it should be like this. 
kakureta. Something is hidden, meaning something is naturally hidden. For example, the birthmark is hidden behind her ear. The Pokemon is not hiding its mouth itself, it's just naturally hidden. Overall, the Japanese in this room is better than some others, but still has glaring issues which I believe lead it to being fake. Additionally, I don't think Game Freak would give the green light to a Pokemon design which is based around spreading infection and illness, given the last few years we have all just experienced. Our last rumored leak for today is a shorter one. Here we have a Pika clone art sheet. Just by looking at it, the lack of text stands out, in the same way that the lack of text in the snake image stood out. This one originated on either 4chan or Reddit. It also seems like there is more art here, but we are missing the full image. The text here regarding the typing is okay, electric normal. It's not a massive issue, but it's worth noting that the word type following the typing is missing. Over here, we see that it's tired. Nothing wrong with this text, but it's also super basic. Leaving us to this last piece of text, it's read here as Ikari. Like this, it's a noun, meaning anger or hatred. I feel like the intent would have been to use the verb, okoru. Okoru is the base form of the verb meaning to feel angry. I just feel like it would be a better fit. At the end of the day, I feel like this one is fake. The extreme lack of detail in the text is a good way to avoid having the Japanese called out. But I don't think it would be accepted by a game freak like this. And that's all we have for today. In conclusion, I feel like none of the rumored art leaks we have looked at today are legit. But regardless, it's still a lot of fun to look at and speculate. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have found this video helpful in some way. I really appreciate everybody who watches and supports this channel. So for now, it's time to say, Mata ne! See you next time!